Okay, so, um, hang on, my monitor's making a weird noise. Okay, so uh, for a while now I've been trying to figure out ways to make my videos look better. Um, I decided I needed to get involved with the whole gimbal train. Um, everyone seems to have a gimbal these days. Uh, I'm loving the sort of floaty look that you're going to be able to get from that. Um, the other problem that I have though is that I am not rich. Um, so I was kind of sitting there thinking, how do I achieve this goal of having a gimbal without getting uh, into a, like a load of debt? Uh, the answer for me was uh, to get one for my phone. Um, now, I've already spent far too much on a, uh, an iPhone 10. The video is pretty nice and um, I thought why not use it. So the reality is, is that I've got a G80 or G85 for you American chaps, um, which I'm filming this on with uh, road video mic and all that sort of good stuff. Uh, and this is definitely going to be my main camera it looks much better. Well, I mean, debatably much better. I think it looks better. Um, I'd love to have got a gimbal for this camera, but the reality is I just don't have the cash. Um, and also I was kind of confused because you had ones like the sort of Air, uh, Moser Air Cross um, and one of the million different types of uh, Zune cranes that they make for them. And, and I didn't really know which one I needed for what lens um, because obviously every time I looked on a video it said, this one's good, but you know, get the next one up, and then you end up sort of looking at 800 to 1,000 pound gimbals, um, and I'm way out of contention. And also, it's one of these things where I mean, I, I don't know what you guys are like, but I have shelves of gadgets and random things that I buy that then I don't use, and I think to myself, this money could have been used more wisely. So I, I don't know whether I would actually use a gimbal if it's one of those things that I want, like a hurdle that I put in my own way to stop me from making videos, or what. What I would say is that uh, I've gone for a mobile gimbal. Once I had that problem, or well not that problem, once I figured out that was what I was going to do, it was a question of um, how much money do I want to spend and what one do I want to get, because there's quite a few. I mean, I've never seen someone using a mobile gimbal out on the street. Um, I know for a fact that one of my friends has got one, because I've seen a bit of footage from it, um, but, but he works in a PR company and like does some pretty flair stuff, so you know, he's obviously doing quite well as well, so, um, but I think he's got a DJI Osmo, um, which is one I looked at, I looked at the, the new one, which is slightly cheaper as well, um, I already have a Mavic Pro as well, so I kind of have some DJI experience, I'm quite happy with them, um, but 130 quid was just a, a little bit too much for me, because again, this thing's just going to end up on the, uh, on the, um, the shelf potentially, uh, and also, at 130 pound, I was kind of like, mm, do I save the 130 pound and put it, um, towards a, a bigger gimbal. So anyway, um, I was uh, watching a guy called Ben Aqua. Um, he did a review of a Zune um, Smooth Q. Um, now these have been out for quite a while. I don't really know how I managed to miss them, but um, certainly I hadn't seen them before. Um, I had did a bit of research, had a bit of a look in there. There's plenty of people moaning about them. Plenty of people were showing bad footage and plenty of people showing good footage. The, the standard thing that happens on YouTube, um, people are obviously have all different levels of ability um, and you know, as with all my equipment, I, I sort of like to think that I'm sitting there in the, the middle tier, like there's definitely people doing better stuff with the cameras I've got, there's definitely people doing worse stuff. Now I aspire to be middle to high uh, and I, I also know I have a lot to learn. So my view was that if I looked at sort of nine videos of a, a, a smooth cue, took out the bottom three and then looked at the, the, the remaining six, was I happy with that for the value that it presented? And the answer was yes, yes I was. So anyway, um, I ordered up the uh, the smooth cue, um, it arrived the other day, so what we're going to do is unbox it and then I, I might take it out and do a little bit of a shooty shooty um, video video -y and see where we're at. Um, Anyway, let's go to that now. So here it is. Um, now you're gonna have to excuse me if I uh, if I uh, do this badly. This is my first uh, unboxing of anything really. Um, so this is it. It's smaller than I thought it was gonna be when it came in the box, but nonetheless, you know all the good stuff. I'm not gonna go too much over on this stuff because it's pretty standard packaging malarkey. 
Um, but it feels a lot better. I mean, I, I think when I saw stuff from Zune, if that's um, if I'm pronouncing that properly initially, I, I was not that super impressed with the quality. They look like a real generic Chinese uh, company, um, which is no problem, but it's normally reflected in the in the price. Um, get this battery out of the way. Um, so let's have a little look, see, shall we? Okay, so what have we got here? An instruction manual. I'm sure I'll read that extensively. Um, quite nice, like the attention detail of the logo on the bag there. Let's have a look. Cool. I mean, this is not super hard, but it's feels relatively quality, that's what we like to see. Anyway, I'll pop that aside. What else have we got in here for the time being? Um, looks like a strap. Nothing particularly amazing there. I guess that attaches onto these, or this little loop on, on those two. Um, doubt I'll be doing that, because, uh, you know, being a super fly pimp that I am, I need to consider how I look on the streets. Um, and a USB, mini USB by the looks of it, um, which has a, a, a nice texture to it, but at the same time, it's not super big. Let's have a quick look. How long does it stretch out to? Right, so that is probably what, like two foot, maybe? Um, yeah, I'm gonna say two foot, uh, which is okay, but my computer's on the floor, so it's not exactly a, a amazing. So anyway, we'll worry about those uh, little extras in a sec. Um, so what have we got in here? Oh, opens up quite wide here. Um, so this is it. This is it. This is the bad boy itself. Um, it's, it feels quite light. Um, I mean, I'm sure if you're uh, looking at gimbals, you, you, you kind of know what to expect here. Um, so, it doesn't look like there's a huge amount of adjustment on here. I imagine that this this is it. So let's have a quick look at this. I mean, nothing more exciting to report inside the case, so we'll get that out of the way as well. Uh, can you see this? Yes, you can. Um, okay, so what I'll do is try and get my mobile into here. I've already downloaded the uh, the app because I could do that before uh, unboxing this thing. So now I watched a video of some guy doing this, and he was what did he tell me to do? I'm trying to remember what way around this has to go because I think I've got it round the wrong way at this point because I think see where it has the uh, the logos there they need to be on the bottom of it so that's not obviously what we're going to have. How does this work? I think I need to shrink this in a little bit. It's, it's loose, so there we go. So that way, I can get the, the all the details on the bottom and have the camera there. And, and the reason for that is, I imagine, is because of where the the camera is on the iPhone. You want that to be at the, the top left top left hand corner. So if we pop this in here. Assuming it is just a case of, I hope it is because otherwise I'm going to break this on the first thing I do. Had enough of that with a GoPro, alright? So push that in so everything's like kind of butted up against it. Um, I think I need to do a bit of a better job of balancing there because the uh, thing is very tilted. Um, so I'm just going to assume that we pull this in and out until, so you can already see that it's started to be better by. In fact, that looks pretty spot on that, that quickly, so now I'll try and do it up without moving it around. Right, so maybe, maybe not perfect, but pretty good, pretty good. Um, obviously this axis I've got no adjustment on, so I'm assuming I'm just going to have to... Uh, Turn it, turn it on. So in order to turn it on, we have to hold this down. Yep, 
sweet, there we go. Um, so, looks like I'm lucky enough to have some charge in there, straight out the, out the back. You can see it's already doing some, uh, it's following me. So if I turn it around, if I go, oh no, it's keeping the, is that tilt? I think that's pan, isn't it? And that's tilt, it's keeping the tilt axis straight. And it's doing the pan. So we've on here, we've got a mode button where you can press to change it. You've got a joystick here which doesn't seem to be doing left or right but is controlling the tilt. If I've got that the wrong way around, oh, sorry, I've got, I haven't got it in shot. Um, if I've got that the wrong way around, professional gimbal user people, I apologise but I'm not one of you so it is what it is. Anyway, um, so if I press this again, does this change? Now it's not panning. Is it looking up and down? No. So this is basically like locked in, in mode, so I, I will have to use this in a different scenario, but that is quite interesting. Doesn't seem to be having any difficulty moving the phone around. I've got the case and everything on the, uh, the iPhone 10, so that's quite pleasing because I didn't really want to be taking the, uh, the case on and off because it's not super easy, but that's quite good. So if we press it two times, now now we're kind of in like a followy followy mode where it's like smoothing it out. That's quite cool. And three times. Now we're in selfie mode. So I'm sure I'll be able to do and it's still doing the followy followy. So I'm sure I'll be able to do some interesting selfie like footage of that, but I'm already rough enough, so I'll uh, leave that for now. Um so I guess the next thing to do is to take it out and have a little play. Uh, one thing that I, I might point out now is that I also intend on using this with my GoPro. Now you can buy a adapter plate thing for these little mobile gimbals, um, but apparently it puts it over the weight of what they're really meant to operate with, um, which I don't really want to be doing. And also I'm, I'm tight, so I don't really want to be buying a uh, adapter plate for no reason. But Luckily, I've heard that if you put like basically a bit of foam in here, it will clamp down on the GoPro and be fine without having any other adapter. So that will definitely be something I might try in a different video. But for now, um, I'm going to go out and film a little bit of footage with this and we'll see how we go. I suppose quickly before I do that, I'll just turn it off. Before we do that, there's the uh, Mark USB port. I'm assuming that's for charging it up. I haven't actually charged it up, so I, I'm making a guess there, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to be. And then down here we have um, where you can charge your phone off of the gimbal. Um, and I don't think you can recycle by plugging the cable in here and up there and it will charge it itself. Uh, that's not going to work. Um, also, yes, I, I realise that's a ridiculous thing to say. Um, okay, so next thing's next. Um, I'm going to go out and film a little bit of this and we'll see what's what be back in a bit
just found myself holding the um, the top light motor with my hand. Um, obviously, when it's in selfie mode, it's pretty hard to know if you're filming yourself or not. I mean, obviously, I assume I'm filming myself. No real knowledge of that until we get back. Um, but anyway, um, hopefully this is enough um, test footage for us. Um, what I would say is, it seems pretty good. Didn't get blown around as much as I feared it might. Um, the um, I haven't done anything in like the high speed, um, high frame rate sort of stuff. So um, we'll save that for another day, shall we? This video is already going to be about 20 million hours long. So anyway, um, I might come and do another bit back to camera after this, just to sort of say what I've seen. Um, but certainly my initial impressions are just need to figure out some things to get creative with now. <laughs>